as good all you cool cats too. 69.96 Dish Radio. Tonight we have lost more than we could ever imagine. Tonight we have lost not one, but two great individuals. That through this entire show are the only people who I've ever actually enjoyed. So please, show your condolences down in the comments. And let's get right on to the show. Come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. Okay, so... There was, like, what, friends? Thank God you're back, for us. or some I've shit? I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I'm You're stressed. Really? I had to go down there and How play fucking to keep a show Mr. Going Manhunt. With all this happening. Uh, beats me. Beats me. Beats me. But we gotta do it, and we're going to. <sighs> You're right. So, what's the plan now? I plan is for me to play. We this should call group Virginia piece. back. Oops, shit. All right, I'll get her on the line. Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. Virginia, pick up the fucking phone, you conniving bitch. Fredman Plunker here? Who's this? Is it you? Goose? Now it's Forrest. Dunker, hey, it's the Radio Man, Forrest Nash. Radio Man? What's up? Solving mysteries, saving lives. The huge. Right, 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 right on. Kill me. Dunker, what are you doing at Virginia's house? Sh she asked if we could stay to keep an eye out for that whistle in turd. So we're hanging out, bro. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's big of you, Plunker. No, <laughs> it's nothing. Can I speak to Virginia? Sure thing, Radio Man. <gasps> I'll just go get her. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm, I'm glad you're still okay. Oh, Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumpy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'd be jumpy too. I can't blame you. I'd be jumpy too. I'm so sorry this happened to you, Virginia. I thought I was. I thought... <sighs> Easy. We're not calling to talk about earlier. We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. So if I would have let you die, what would have happened? Well, I would have known all this. Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. I don't know that name. What are you asking about this for? Great, okay. You mentioned that name earlier when you called us the first time. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified for us. Petrified That's to say the, the name Clyde? At our station. And we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. He'll come for me. You have Virginia, a it's fucking okay. party of, of Clyde college won't kids be coming there. After you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? He's the whistling man, Forrest. Uh, we have evidence. We found evidence to the contrary. But it's true. And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Well, well apparently he didn't. He, didn't. I don't know he if has he kept guilt. Them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight. Which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? I... All right. One day oh, here we go. I went to work to find a... a boy on my slab. And as I finished the autopsy, this man, Clive, he just burst in. And he started making demands to give over the reports to falsify what I found? Of course I said no. But, well, when someone wants to make you do something, 
they can use the carrot or the stick. Or your For fists. Me, he used both. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. And Bribe Clive you? promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment if I did what he said. And that if I ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. I don't know why he had me do it, but my sister needed me. You have to understand, she needed me. We understand. <laughs> I can't pass up being a dick. I don't. You helped cover up the death of a child. Forrest! What?! But he threatened me. And m my sis- You abused your power to help yourself. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not oh, good God. with that. Forrest, that wasn't necessary. Eh, fuck off. Whatever. It needed to be said. It did! There's many other ways. So, Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? So was Clive dead or not? If only Sandra had made it. We could have talked to her too. Uh, don't remind me. Ah, uh, well, you know, we win some and we lose some. Yeah, we did. I guess. Then we lose vital information. Looks like we've got a call coming in. All right, let's get this on. Uh, radio voice, radio voice. Mm, scream. All right, let's go. Welcome to 189.16 The, the Scream. Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Forrest. Get this jigaboo really off here. Out of the blue with everything happening no, I know. I know who you but are. I, if you could send I know who you are. Fucking Ponty. My uncle. No, 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 no. No? I don't want to. No. Oh, come on. Ponty, get it's your fucking jigaboo Indian ass out of here. Again, no, no, get the fuck off. May as well, Forrest. No! Uh, fine. What's his name? Thank you, Forrest. He's my Uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter, but he never liked his name. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday? You would like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my God, damn it! Yes, tell him he can get the best birthday deals and party packages here at Pony's Pizza. Start again, you, you son of a bitch! Stop calling us. I, I sort of got. I'm blocked. This his is ass. your fault. My fault. Yes, it is. I said I didn't, I didn't want, want to do, do it. it. I didn't Don't want to answer the Jigaboo's phone Ponte call. Can't control himself. Uh. Don't worry. We've already got another caller. Blame you. Just pick it up. Okay? Uh, fuck it. This is 189.16. The Scream. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. Are you crying or laughing? <laughs> caller. Oh my god, get this fucking monkey off here. I'm already tired of this shit. I'm tired of all these people shit. Ponty. Ponty's people. Get him out of here. Delivers. Get Come this nigga out of here. Whistling man. We'll be there! <laughs> Can we block this motherfucker? Forrest? Can we block this motherfucker? Forrest? Are you okay? No! <sighs> no, I'm not! Forrest? I hope the whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. Jesus, Forrest! I hate this motherfucker! Sorry. He keeps Sorry, calling in was... promoting his fucking pizza! That was too much. It's so okay. It's like Papa John's. It's been He's a high-stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I think he's spent for now. Fucking better we've be. We've got another call. Whenever you're ready. I swear to God, if this is like another pizza guy, I'm about to go down there myself Folks, and kill him. Don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. That's... All I'm gonna say about that. Moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16 The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Who may I say is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Who is this? Dawn. Oh, Dawn, hi. We played your song, Long Ride Home. Did you hear it? Can you tell us? 
Uh, never mind that now. First, I'm calling because I need your help. And that is... Okay, we had a deal. Are you in danger? We had a deal. Don, we had a deal. Fuck your, fuck your thing. Hand. Who is the next target? Oh, it's too late for that now. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, I will. Oh, fine. Chuck Brody was the next target, but that ship sailed. <laughs> oh, uh, how'd you know? How did you know it was Chuck? Well, if I tell you, I might just put more people in danger. Thanks. People are already in danger. This might help. Force, I don't have time. I need your help. What? Do Fine. Fuck it. What? Yes. He's after me now. You? I think so. He must have heard me on the radio helping you. Helping? Helping? You didn't exactly help. Maybe I've been helping more than you know. Do I was you? out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next. After Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. So I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system has me locked out. Damn. I need you to help me get inside. What am I supposed to do? Go somewhere else, use a key, ask the neighbor. I don't... Can a neighbor let you in? Oh, I only moved in last week. I don't know anybody yet. That doesn't mean jack the fuck shit. not here, only the, the keypad for the entry code. I need that code to get inside. I don't Which know your code. do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the new Woodside apartment building between the town hall and the trailer park. But I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. Yeah, it Sound is. Sound really carries at night. Shit. Bark and a howl. Uh, not a dog person. Noisy part of town. Neighbor's dog. Is that a neighbor's dog? Yes, it is. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing in. Oh. And now he's blasting David Oh, <gasps> I know him! It's, it's Skater! It's the Skater dude! He's coming down the street. Is it the Skater dude? I'm gonna die. It's the skater guy. Hold on, uh, neighbor's name. What's your neighbor's name? I don't know my neighbors, remember? Oh my fucking Please. god, you had I one job. You have one fucking job, okay. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000. There's a keypad, and it looks like it wants a, a six digit number. Six digit number. All right, uh, that's a lot of digits. Starling, huh? We'll try. Starling Security 4000, huh? That's right. Very newly installed. I need the key code before the whistling man gets me. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thank you, Forrest. I knew it I has to be. I'll sit out of sight. I have Call to know that guy, soon. right? All right, folks. Here's a little tune for you all to enjoy. While well, I try to break Dawn into her apartment. Great, that's fucking nice. Like, I know what the fuck to do. Coming up for your listening pleasure, it's Caged Tiger with their single, One Last Goodbye. Oh, hell the fuck, low. You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me, or was there something... Yeah, it wasn't just you. Something was weird about that. What? Yeah, well... Tell you what, we have a Starling 4000 or whatever here at KFAM. Of course we do. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, I'm not sure who, but to help someone. What? So I gotta go down fucking stairs in the goddamn okay. basement. So she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments and somewhere Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Great, now I gotta go back into the basement, find this Starling 4000 bullshit. I still feel like Onimus music. I still feel like that I knew that guy. Cause he had a dog and he had fucking, um, whatchamacallit, um, funky music. So, why couldn't we just call him? Was that like an option to call that guy? Starling 4000. Was it over here? Starling 4000. Got it. User manual. 
Ah, these codes should come in handy. Yep, they should. Thank you, Clive, for keeping everything with your dead, probably dead ass. Who knows? Who knows? All right, I'm back, and I got codes. Hopefully. Uh, Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? Manual the code. Uh, security uh, alarm it's test. Got a bunch of codes. Good. Access code. And did you find anything else? Entry code. Nothing except the manual. All right. Well, I'll get Dom back on the line then. Forest. I'll let you take it from Please here. Change these Thanks, codes for Ben. The entry code is when seven ready, one. Shut the music off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Oh shit. Hold on. Line one. Whenever you're ready. Got it. Done. Are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16. The, the screen. screen. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. Long test deactivate What's code. What's the code to the gate? It is. Maintenance code call, alarm test. This will set off the skinner yard, so it is. I gotta read this. Hold on. Our state of the art system uses a six digit code system. Simply enter the code into the keypad and feel totally peace of mind. The Starling security alarm system 4000 comes with a range of features. The default codes for these. Features are listed below. Notes, please change these codes immediately to prevent unwanted entry. So, entry code. The code is 715914. Thank you, Forrest. I hope that's right. <laughs> Forrest, what did we do? I feel like that we did something wrong. I feel like that we did something wrong. Let's just see what happens. Oh, Forrest, well, we're dead. There's another call coming in. Uh, uh, evening, caller. You're live on... Oh, oh, Forrest, roller Ricky! Oh. The psycho's somewhere in the roller rink, dude. I just saw a shadow. God damn, how do you even get in? Oh my god, no! You've gotta help me, man. Forrest. No. No! Come back! No, you monster! I can't find my rifle, man. No! No. But I can't let anything happen to me. No! No! Maxie! No! What have I done? Maxie! What have I done? Maxie! Oh no! You didn't do anything wrong! What have I done? Oh no! Oh, Don, you piece of shit! <laughs> Don, oh my god, Don, you piece of fucking shit! What just happened? I've been bamboozled! I've been schmeckledorfed! Oh no! No! Roller Ricky! The only man I actually enjoyed through this whole fucking thing! Come on, Forrest, put some music on already. Shut the fuck up, I'm mourning a friend! And his dog! God, it's like John Wick gone wrong! Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. So, the whistling man... Is a whistling is woman! A woman? Oh, I know. I can't believe it. I have my suspicions. I can't believe it. I know. I, I can't believe it. Oh, she God. called up. You spoke to her multiple times. Fucking bitch! Ah, uh, she seemed pretty normal. Yeah, she seemed pretty normal. Why do you think she requested that song? <sighs> to get me outside, probably. To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. Yeah, she did. That's right. She never actually attacked me out I, there. No, she so? didn't know the song was outside. So I how the fuck did she tell me to they go outside? Okay, kill the music and you can make the announcement. Okay, you're live in three, two. Hey folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. 
We now believe the killer is actually a woman. One who might manipulate you into letting her in the plot thickens. before she attacks you. Okay, um... Oh, we're neighbors. Look outside to stay each other's ears. I'm sad to say, but it's time to trust no one. Nope. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. The killer was calling themselves Dawn. Uh, this could be a fake name. Don't trust anyone called Dawn. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light on our killer. Ah, oh, god damn. Hey, we had a call come in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. Not only did my kill count went up, my 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 heart breaking went up by two. This is Forrest Nash and you're listening Please help me. My oh. name is Casey Moore. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. They didn't even my get to say my signature. My best friend's been stabbed. Off. He's he's bleeding everywhere. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Uh, Dad, did breathe. What happened? Somebody's been stabbed. Can, can you tell me what happened? We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place when we heard this whistling all of a sudden. Great. He just started freaking out. He screamed at me. Told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that, and I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Oh no, Forrest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. It sounded like he might have known the person, and they just stabbed him. Casey, was he talking to a woman? I don't know. Bitch, you had what? You no, had one Please, job, woman. I'll get you help. Use your ears. Know. One job. Where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. <sighs> you're not helping me. I waited until they were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. Like you're Wait. the least helpful fucking Why person ever. Why did you sure he was dead? I don't know. I think I heard them say something like, "It's not so funny now, is it?" Before they left, but please, he needs to get to the hospital. I can't drive, so we need to There an is ambulance. none. There is none. First, the ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. Like fucking what? What's your friend's name? What's your friend's name, Casey? It's Jason. Jason Parker. Can you tell us where Jason was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach. And then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground. Okay, the leg is fine. The leg, the you can just... is still there in his leg. Okay, don't we'll pull it like out. That. Don't pull it out. Pat, That's what I know. Do Pat not pull it out. Hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Don't don't pull the knife out. It keeps the blood in. Probably just tie his stomach up or something. Peggy. 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 Oh. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. We have a oh. stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is, well, you know. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. Yeah, I need Forrest, something, I... anything. Listen, you're going to have to get him here. We need to see him and we can't get the right now. Why We don't me? have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right, listen. We need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood first yeah. and then finding someone to stabilize him. Oh, to stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? Who the fuck here? No. no. Me neither. Uh, damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can, and then leave the rest to you. You think you can handle that? Uh, we have no choice. We don't really have much choice. Hit me. Okay, from the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Mm -hmm. Clean cloths when slow. I'm blurry. The fuck? Got it. 
Focus on me. You said he was stabbed, right? Am I blurry? That the object eh. he was stabbed with is still in him. Eh. Don't take it out. Eh. Focus it's on the me. Right now. Why am I? If anything, you should secure it. Blurry. So it there we go. I wouldn't have there thought of that. Clear. You should stop it. Makes it. sense, though. Oh shit! Now I'm fucking. God, that was a lot of info. But I think we can handle this. Glad you got it so far, because there's more to go. Oh god. Uh, are you sure you can't stay? This is a lot to remember. Are you sure you can't stay on the line? We're wasting time. Please. Okay, just okay, let me okay. If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. If he does, act fast. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of it. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating this is too to much. his vital organs. He's dead. Try to keep him warm. He's dead. Get him to rest and reassure him. He's dead. This is too much for me. <sighs> All right. Uh, don't replace bandages. Elevate his legs. Keep him warm and calm. This is a lot. This is a I'm lot. Really he's dead. That's he's, as much as I can give you. He's right dead. Now. Then he's dead. Try to stop the bleeding. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. He's dead. He's <laughs> dead. He, he if right, he's Forrest. in my hands. He's Casey's dead. still on line one. He's dead. Nigga's oh. dead as fuck. Oh, Forrest, are you there? He's dead. Don't even. Don't even fucking try. Uh, how's Jason? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. Mm -hmm. I need help. I bet you do. I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. But he's still bleeding. I don't know what to do. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in his leg? Keep it in there. It's gotta be hell. Should I pull it out? No! Don't touch the knife. No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. That's like Are you basic. Sure? Yes! I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. Damn straight you no, should. Don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through this. Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. Y yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. Uh, we need to secure the knife. Uh, leave the knife alone. All right, I, I think we need to leave that knife. Alone. I wasn't paying attention. Right. That was like too much fucking I'll information for me to be even like for now. understand. Forrest, can I have a word? Go on. Okay. Casey, I'm gonna have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on, and let us know when the bleeding is under control. We're dead. You're doing great. Jason's dead. But what if something happens? Calm the fuck down. Be here. Jason's Just dead. Just shout if you need anything, and we'll be there. Jason's I dead. I promise. Okay. Jason's dead. Jason I'll is wait. dead. He's Jason? dead. Please be okay. He's dead. I'm sorry. What is it, Peggy? What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? <sighs> Peggy, you're right. She's probably on her way Peggy. to her next target right now. Peggy, exactly. I don't care. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. Uh, sh she'll have to drive him. Any suggestions? Could somebody nearby help? Could somebody nearby help them? Maybe drive them to the hospital? You know, that's exactly what I was wondering. Oh, don't yeah, make me go back on that map. I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Me okay. and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. Mm -hmm. You skipped it, didn't you? Never mind. <laughs> so, how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah? Why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Great, could thank you. you. You're not ask? helping. I don't know everybody's numbers. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are a couple of problems with that. And that is? Go on. It's sensitive information, so Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great. Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note taker, though. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Right. There is something else. Oh, what else? Like what else? Have you ever heard, 
the future is floppy? No. Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things that have information on them. You put them in a computer and they do something. Peggy, I know what a floppy disk is. Anyway, I don't. Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. It's Since bad to know. Heard like, I fucking know what Casey, to do. I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. You'll need a key for that. Great. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Give Maggie. it a key since you basically <sighs> have, have fucking everything. Whoa. Fuck. Good. I'll patch my mic down to the office so you'll hear me over the intercom. Okay. So, thank you. So, I'm assuming this right here is Reggie's office. That's not opening. No? Okay. Reggie's office. Where the fuck is Reggie's office? Uh... Reggie's office. Reggie's office. I feel like that room over there, because I've been in every single goddamn room. Pretty sure this has to be Reggie's office. Locked tight. Really? Okay, well, whatever. Uh, whatever. All right, um, Reggie, Reggie, your office, Reggie's office, Reggie's office. Okay, is Reggie's office that a uh, door in the back? Which one said it was locked for now? Private. Up oh, here it is. Why does everyone have this fucking map? First aid, great. Okay. Okay, first things first. Where is the safe? Where is the safe? Looks like I need a four-digit code. Hint. Very important date. Okay. Very important date. 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 The fuck is this? Uh, please enter floppy disk. Great. Um, Clive, if you're reading this, stop stealing my post-it notes. Okay, that's good to know. Um, um, acts forever. Need to write a pitch document. Good title. Bring back original or prodigy. Okay, that's useless. All right. Oh, here it is. All right. Wow. Could this be it? Uh, pizza delivery killers. Who knows? It says important date. The only four digits. So eleven oh seven. Oops, shit. So eleven oh seven. Nice. Damn straight. Oh. Um, I don't know who the fuck to call. I don't know who the fuck to call. Weaver, Peggy. Okay, that's Peggy. Uh, Forrest Nash. That's me. Um, personal file, John. Who do we need again? Who's here? Um, issued by uh, the survey is, certi is certified that. Regional Scott. So I need Scott. 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 Okay, I don't know who the fuck to get at this point. Does it matter who I get? I don't think it matters. What the fuck is this? Uh, ask Jenny where those tapes are. It's been weeks now. Overdue. Okay. That was necessary. Uh, what the fuck ever? Just get this, get this shit off me. Get it off me. Get it off. 
I don't care for it. Okay, um, eating any money? Oh, this one. Why not? Oh, come on. Fucking game. Pissing me off. Close this and. Eject. Gimme. There. This. This. Alright. Motherfucker! What? Who's banging? Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? Uh. I got the safe open. What now? I got the safe open, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for in these files. We need to know who can do first aid, and we need them to be close to Nancy Drive. It's not helpful. Anything further away than a street or two is probably too far. I don't know Anyone where the. Who takes those two boxes is our best bet. Got it. Oh my God! The where the fuck is I'll Nancy let you Drive? Find something or don't. Where the fuck is Nancy Drive? I can't. I can't do this, dude. I can't do these, these, these things. I can't, I can't do this shit. All right. Where the hell is Nancy Drive? Where the fuck is Nancy Drive? Because I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. I really don't. I can't tell. I don't know anything. Nancy Drive, there, right there. So the things that are near Nancy Drive are Axe Down Lane and Bond Street. Axe Down Lane, Bond Street, or King Avenue. No, Axe Lane or Bond Street. So Axe Lane or Bond Street. I'm not even going to hold my breath on that. Axe Lane or Bond Street. I need to keep those two in mind. God damn, why do I keep doing that? Uh, God damn it. Alright, uh... Axe Lane, Bond Street, who could do first aid? Um... Notes, uh, notes. Barbara is really getting on well with all the staff here every day, getting really uh, great feedback at our last review. I got the feeling there's something going on with her and Brad. Uh, call it a hunch. Barbara is getting another recent uh, a cat recently. She must have eight, at least five now. Okay, Daisy, Mumfrey, uh, Penelope, Ready, and Lord Wisdom. I'll need to monitor product our productivity going forward. The cat uh, photos are a big distraction for the rest of the team. How? Uh, Barbara launch. Uh, laughed when I told her about the, the concert for the new horror script. I don't care what she thinks. A story about an alien egg at the center of the Earth set to hatch on February 30th is a great idea. Why else would we avoid having February 30th? Okay, that was, um, indeed useless. Indeed useless. Um, that was indeed useless, but okay. All right, indeed useless, but I guess this one next. Oops. All right, um, address, okay, this, she lives on, okay, he lives on Nancy Drive. John refuses to engage with the first aid trainer, okay, during the course I know he was a war medic, but it was stationed policy to send to everybody regardless. John apparently has a bunch of medical equipment in his home that has pretty- Okay, that's all I need to hear. Oops, shit. Keep doing that. That's all I need to hear. So, John Hedges. John Hedges. Alright, Peggy! Hey, Peggy. You there? This one yeah, lives okay. at Nancy Drive, Bye, actually. Peggy. Uh, yeah, I know to call. I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. All right, good work. Who should I... Hello? Is anybody there? Shut the fuck up! I've been trying Please to do some shit! Up. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale! Oh, God. I tried to give him a rest, but he just threw up everywhere! What's happening? What do I do? 
Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Did he have a booze earlier? Uh, he's going into shock, Peggy. Uh, what did the nurse say? Peggy? I'm drawing a bit of a blank here. Damn straight. Forrest, I think he's going into shock. Okay. But the bleeder seems to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, I'm sorry. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I Hopefully. I, I know, I've been doing to everything to wrong. Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Why the fuck does it matter? Elevate Jason. Casey, I need you to prop Jason up. We need to raise his wounds. Both of his wounds? You want me to fold him up like an accordion? No! Did the nurse really tell you that? That doesn't sound right, Forrest. We really need to be careful. Shut the f If we get anything wrong now, then... I don't need I no more notes. things on my kill count. But we need to get Jason as warm and comfortable as possible. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Yeah! I still have some laundry next to me. I'll wrap him in some blankets. Just give me a second. Mm. Ah. Ah. Sorry, sorry. Ah. I'm being a bitch. That's a stab wound. Sorry, sorry. I'm done. You're gonna be okay, Jason. Just relax now, okay? Oh, I'm scared. Oh, and I'm not. Do you know how many people are dead because of me? Oh, uh, he's going to be fine. Be strong for Jason. Casey, I need you to be strong for Jason. Yes, calm the Sit fuck down. And reassure him that everything's going to be okay. Okay? Okay. John Hedge, yeah, I have to fucking remember. Uh We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. The most trained really? person. There is no way I'm getting that shit wrong. War medic, huh? Yeah. There is no way I'm getting this shit wrong. If I if John I fucked up on this goddamn thing, house. I swear to God. Something of a hoarder. Alright. What's his number? Uh, five, four, two, zero, seven, three, five. Calling now. Let's help you pick. Uh, who the hell is this calling me? What time is it? John, I don't know. it's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, this is a work emergency. Yes. I can wait until the goddamn morning. Just leave me a note like everybody else. This is a this is a medical emergency. John, no, this is a medical emergency. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man. Or, never mind. He he's badly hurt and he's going to die unless we get someone to him now. The whistling man. What kind of joke? Is Who this? gives a shit? Guys, we're not kidding. A man is gonna die if we don't help him right now. Seriously. Huh? Seriously. I haven't been called on for over ten years. Well, Where's it's your condition? calling. What's He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Yep. Do you know the extent of his injuries? No, we nigga! Were told he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg, and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Absolutely! If he dies on my watch. Thank Damn you, straight! We'll let him Do up my kill count! Hello. I want my lives up! Hello, Casey. Are you there? How are we doing? Bad. Jason seemed really weak. Don't worry! Depression. Don't worry! He ain't, uh, he's on his way now. He We're ain't dying now. on my watch. No more death. He's passed out. Please tell me you found someone to I help. did! A Casey war Hope medic, on the way. no less. My colleague will be there soon. Very certified. Yeah, I don't know what a war Jason. medic is doing at a radio it. station. Damn, this thing was quick. I'm guessing that's Jason there. Casey, I'm gonna need your help. Forrest, Peggy, don't you two worry. We've got this from here. Damn straight! Raise my life! Raise it! Raise it! God, I hope he's Oh, yeah! And with that. The show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason.